Hello and welcome to this video. Today I have a little tip for you guys that will definitely make a difference if you apply this in your workflow. Like before I talk a lot about key commands and I'm going to do that again today. Okay so let's get to the key commands. As you can see here on the channel we have some symbols and one of them is this little tiny E and it says edit channel settings. By default in Cubase when you click E as edit you open up the channel settings and that's very handy I mean we use this all the time in Cubase but when you're working with a VST instrument by default there is no key command and that really annoyed me in the beginning so what I decided to do was to make a key command very close to the one that opens the channel settings so what did I do I made my own so go into edit up here and then down to key commands go to the search bar and then write edit vst and then click the plus sign to search and here we are edit vst instrument so what i did was i went to this little box here and then i made my own key command and i chose to do alt shift e and then I assign it to the edit VST instrument and I just did this all right and then you hit OK and now when you go here you click alt shift E you open up the VST instrument you can copy my settings or you can make your own but do it because it will really help you yeah, so that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. And all I have to say is go make some great music and I will see you soon.